Hello Studio Tracks Forums. Uh, this is Bass Guitarist 1985 um, doing a repair on one of the Matrix knobs on the Core D3200. Um, I'm going to try my best to uh, zoom in to where I'm going to be working on, but it's basically going to be this pot right here. Now, this is the board that has everything on it from the faders to the to the buttons, um, you have your ribbon cable right here. Also, you got to be very careful when you're taking this off. You're not supposed to take this off. This will break very easily if you put any type of stress on it. Um, here are the micro switches here for where your location buttons are and your uh, start stop below here. Um, also, your jog wheel, your joystick, where you have all the little buttons here as well. Um, if you have it apart like I do, it's probably a good opportunity to take a little Q-tip like this, like this here, and um, just kind of go around it because you know, some this in this case, someone actually spilled cake in it. I don't know how or why, but um, this goes to show you should not have any food next to your equipment. So, what I am going to try and do is remove this one with um, first starting off with the Dremel tool because this one is shot. You do have to be very careful. I'm going to take the cutting wheel and essentially cut the two, the three prongs there. And there's one prong here, and then there's one prong here that will hold it to the board. Now, if I can carefully flip this around without destroying anything, um, which you're going to quickly see, and I'll try to keep the glare away, is probably not going to come through too good. You see I have your three prongs here, and then you have your where the pot is currently soldered into the board. Now, if you apply too much heat to these things, there's little traces right here, here, and here that goes to the little uh, op amps that you don't want to destroy. And if you do, uh, I did post a picture on here before <laughs> what I had wound up having to do. Now, for that was for the headphone jack. Now, that wasn't so much of a problem since it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere by itself. These you got to be a little bit more careful with and since it's out of warranty I'm not really looking to spend a lot of cash so this is going to be a DIY. So um, I will post the final results some pictures once I have it all repaired. Um, and feel free to shoot me any messages, comments, questions, uh, suggestions, constructive criticisms, anything you might have and we will see how it goes. Hopefully I won't destroy anything. So, thanks guys.